welcome to Tony's Quick Tips. One of the things that professionals have to get their head around is that there is an increasing tendency for consumers to do online reviews of their experience with us professionally. Now, whether we like it or not, 84% of those consumers ask their peers before using somebody new, even when they've been recommended, according to one recent survey. And 67% of them in the same survey said that the online reviews are a critical decision-making factor in who they decide to work with. So what happens online and what people say about us online matters enormously, and consumers are increasingly used to placing reviews about their experience, whether it's with TripAdvisor or Menu Mania or some of the up-and-coming financial advisor review sites. They are used to placing their opinion, and others are used to looking at those opinions from other consumers and using them to help guide their decision-making about whether to engage a professional or not. So we have a choice. We can manage it ourselves and get on board with it, we can embrace it, or we can leave it to the disgruntled. Now, clearly that's not a great marketing ploy to leave it to the disgruntled, so we are best to get on board with it and embrace it, because people will increasingly place their opinions online about their experience with us, and others will give it great weight. So what are the things that we need to do if we're going to get on board with it and we're going to embrace it and try and make online reviews work as well for us as they can? Well, what we should do firstly is we should ask for reviews. We should actually engage with the consumers that we are working with and ask them to do reviews. Immediately after delivering our advice or our engagement with them, we should ask them to place a review. The more positive review we can get, the better, and the more positive reviews we can get, the better. Ask for reviews from existing clients after you've gone through your annual client service work. Ask them to place a review as well because that will help give some weight and some credence to other consumers who are wondering about whether or not your ongoing service is worthwhile. So ask for reviews from existing clients, whether you've done work with them recently or not, or perhaps just a subset of the existing clients, perhaps just your very best clients, or the ones who have given you referrals, or the ones from a particular demographic or market niche that you want to pursue. But select the people that you want to try and get reviews from. And don't ask just once. You've got to ask multiple times. Sending out one email to some of your customers and saying, hey guys, could you give me a review? It's probably going to get ignored by most of them. You've got to make this a process. If you want them to engage with it, make it a process. Ask them repeatedly. Now, not repeatedly enough that you're harassing them, but don't do it just once. Do it several times or make sure that it's a continued link in things like your newsletter so that people know you're encouraging them to place reviews. And if you really want people to engage with it, incentivize it. Now, you don't have to spend big money and you don't want to do anything outrageous because you don't want to make it look like it's pure bribery. But giving something as a thank you for placing a review, good or bad or indifferent, but giving them a thank you for placing a review, like a bottle of wine, does incentivize behavior and encourages people to take that step to place the review. So reviews are happening and they're going to be happening increasingly. And we've got a choice. We can get on board with it and embrace it, or we can leave it to the disgruntled. And I would suggest to you that one of the clever things we can do is not leave it to chance because it's our reputation that's going online. And if we do nothing about it, we're going to leave it to the disgruntled to place the incorrect impression out there in the world for future clients. And that's the quick tip for today. Awesome. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly.